Richard from custommods.co.za Today I'll be taking you through a few tools, basic ones and advanced tools that you would come across or that you would use when you mod PC cases, Xbox cases and the like. So, let me take you through the basic ones first. Okay, basic tools. Safety first guys, I can't stress this enough. Get yourself a basic first aid kit, something that contains a set of plasters, bandages and the like inside there. You'd also want a good pair of safety glasses as well as a basic pair of safety goggles. This is handy for when you're sanding things that take or put in a lot of dust into the air. You'd also want a good selection of power tools. Basically a glue gun, you'd be using that quite often. Get some extra spare glue sticks, you'll use a lot of them. A tool that is a lot, well is used almost as much as your rotary tools is a jigsaw. Make sure you get yourself a jigsaw, you'll be using that quite a bit in your basic mods as well as a selection of cutting blades that'll fit your particular jigsaw. Rotary tool I prefer my Dremel 300, but any rotary tool will do the job. Basically, this is the tool you'll be using the most for practically all your PC mods, uh, Xbox mods, console mods, that which you'll be doing. You'd want a good selection of cutting bits, grinding bits, sanding bits and that for your rotary tool. Be sure to get a good selection there. Something else that you'd also be using a lot is... Uh, pop rivet gun with a selection of pop rivets. You have got 3.2 by 6 millimeter pop rivets. This will fit in the pop rivet gun. Next that you'd also want to use is a good pair of files. I have a round file, half round file and your flat file as well as a set of precision files. Also you'll be using a lot of them especially to clean off burrs and that from any cut that you've made with your rotary tool or jigsaw. Handy stuff to have is what we call press stick here in South Africa. Uh, basically this is like a good helping third hand. You can use it to hold anything in place while you work on it. You'd want a selection of double sided tapes, insulation tape, a must have, as well as masking tapes and I have a blue masking tape here, which is actually a painter's tape. It's a low-tack tape. In other words, it's not as sticky as your standard masking tape, so it doesn't leave any sort of residual behind. You'd want to use that if you're basically masking off a piece of your case that you've just painted and you haven't clear coated or anything like that yet. Like, for instance, if you've airbrushed or anything. Moving on. A adjustable square, also very important to have. You want things to basically line up in any mod that you do, so square is a must. Precision long nose pliers, side cutters, as well as a more heavy duty pair of pliers, side cutters. And you'd also want a good utility knife or standing knife. This here is an Irwin. I use this a lot as well. As well get a Space set of blades, you'll be using a lot of those blades. You also want a set of cable ties or zip ties. I basically use the 100mm and the 150mm zip ties. Something I can't stress enough as well is if you're doing any sort of mudding, you want a good quality uh, set of screwdrivers. Both your stubby screwdrivers and then a normal set. As you can see there I have quite a selection of screwdrivers. You can't have enough of that. Both the insulated ones, although you don't need the insulated ones as much in your PC modding and that, and then your normal screwdrivers. Get 
if you can, one or two of your precision Phillips and flathead screwdrivers with a long shaft. This is a number zero Phillips with a 150 millimeter shaft. Also, precision screwdrivers. Get yourself a decent set here. Don't cut corners. This you'll be using practically on every mod as well. Precision screwdrivers, a must. I've got two sets here with interchangeable bits. Uh, one of them is a ratcheting screwdriver. The other one's got an extendable shaft on it as well to get into those hard to reach places. So that's a must have. You want a good quality uh, measuring tape also, must have, you'll be using that a lot. Along with your measuring tape you'd also be using measuring rulers. I've got a selection of steel rulers from 300 millimeters to 1 meter. Also, good to have, you'll use that all the time. Something that isn't as important but also good to have is a set of security bits. These have all sorts of bits in there that more security wise like for instance your torque bits or your hexagon allen bits with your holes in the center for all your security screws. You want a basic set of sockets as well all the way from about 4 millimeters right through to 20 millimeters both in metric and imperial also good to have. Then when you basically finished your modding in that and comes to painting you'd want a roll of mutton cloth or cheese cloth also good to have all purpose cloth that you use all the time you want a selection of sandpaper in various grits from I'd say a 80 grit right through to 1000 grit you want a sanding block, I've got a rubber sanding block and one of these sponge sanding blocks Something also that every modder should have is your 3M Scotch-Brite pads. Get the maroonish, reddish colored one. Very good to have and you'll use that all the time as well. Okay, that takes care of your basic tools.